Good morning. We are up here at, and we, there actually is a we today. We've got Aria here. I'm gonna stop walking so you don't have to hear the snowshoes. We're on the top of Hoosier Pass. Today, we're gonna be hiking a mountain I've been meaning to check off for quite some time, uh, North Star Peak. For a full guide of North Star Peak, you can check the link in the description below. North Star Peak should be about an eight mile day with 2,500 feet of gain. Because we're already on the top of Hoosier Pass here, we're quite high already, but this is a 13er. It's about 13.5, 13.6 if memory serves me correct. And is a good winter hike because of accessibility, fairly low uh, avalanche risk, and gives you some opportunity to kind of practice on a thinner ridge. The hike up North Star Mountain here essentially follows a service road. So uh, this is kind of the point where you have an option to some extent. You could head up this slope right here to avoid some of the avalanche risk on this left side. Snow depth over here is very, very shallow. So we're gonna go ahead and just follow this road for a bit and then connect with the ridge. In general, this is a pretty straightforward hike. Like I said, even in the summer, you're gonna be following a service road and then basically hooking up with the ridge, which is class two. In the winter, obviously, because there's snow, it's gonna be a little more tricky. Uh, some cornices potentially involved than just being more narrow. But in general, you shouldn't need any technical gear for this outside of maybe snowshoes uh, and then hiking poles, things like that. So behind you here, you get a good look at your ridge today. So eventually, you're gonna gain this slope, gain this hill. And this is the ridge, North Star is somewhere up in here. Looking back, you got Lincoln, now closed over to your left, and then some other 13er Centennials back in here as well. Now a bit closer to the ridge. If there is avalanche concern and a choice to be made, it's this slope right here. So likely you'll still have the road as like your walk through point, but these slopes above are a bit prone. So theoretically something could slide and affect you down here. I feel pretty comfortable with uh, the snow conditions in this so we're going to shoot across here and then take this hill up to the ridge but this is kind of your first real choice of the day i know i mentioned that initial hill i was incorrect about that you just stay on the forest road here which is pretty obvious um and follow that beautiful uh day out you got lincoln here bross over there since I have filmed with the dog in the winter and it's very challenging to balance all this. We got the dog who gets caught in her leash. I'm trying not to lose gear because it's windy. I just stepped on the GoPro with my snowshoe trying to balance all that. So for all those of you who don't appreciate my videos, this is just a little behind the scenes of what eventually turns into hopefully a good video. But man, it's sometimes it's just really tricky to balance all this today I'm just not doing a very good job so if there are less shots than I would like that's why it's just incredibly challenging to balance a dog and a drone and a GoPro and your gear all in one and I say all that not to like vent and be negative I just want to peel back the curtain I chose to do this today with Aria because it's very important for me to share my experiences in the mountains as much as I can with her and admittedly I've been so kind of selfish with what I've been doing since we've rescued her that 
we haven't had a ton of time to do stuff like this. So I specifically chose this route when I probably could be doing something more difficult or a coolar, but these are the memories I want her to have and for us to have together. We're uh, at the saddle behind us here and you can see almost all the way over here somewhere to, uh, to Hoosier Pass. Looking over, you got the beautiful views, the 10 mile range here and then the standard route up Quandry over here. Excuse me if I'm pointing in the wrong direction right now because the back screen is shattered on the GoPro, but next up, you're kind of just gonna pick the best line for you to get up onto the ridge here and then head over uh, to North Star. Just about 1.5 miles in with uh, about 1,200 feet of elevation gain. Chugging along, just ditched the snowshoes back there, just about 13,000 feet and almost on the ridge proper. Ari is doing great. Spirits are all around have improved. Wind has died down a bit for now. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful day up here. Quick note, although I'm technically doing this in the calendar of spring, this is pretty much what you can expect on North Star all winter long. So in terms of gear, gaiters, snowshoes, hiking poles, perhaps a mountain ax, not a lot of technical gear needed gets you into kind of the winter conditions without a ton of danger tied to it and uh, yeah it gives you some practice that we'll see in a bit on a pretty narrow cornice kind of uh, full ridge As you get closer to the ridge here, you'll see there's some mining stuff going on here. So leave all that alone. There are some private pieces of land I believe you go through. So please just leave everything and move through it as quickly as you can. So a bit of a conundrum here. Every map that I look at says that right behind me is the summit of North Star Peak. But a one very, very popular site says that I need to continue on this ridge. Now there is another mountain down the ridge, Wheeler Peak. So I'm really not sure what's going on here. I think this ridge in front of me is where I'm supposed to go. So I might venture down it a bit just to kind of check it out. But it's kind of weird because literally every map says where I am right now is the summit of North Star. I decide to continue on and I think this next peak is going to be the one we stop at. Beautiful view of Quandry over there and the West Ridge and uh, yeah over to the Decalibron you got Lincoln, Democrat and uh, Cameron and all visible. So yeah the ridge as you can see a little bit cornice but not terrible. This is class two um, we're just going to take it slow, but you can also see this layer of dust and that's going to be a problem with spring melt snow uh, this year. It's going to make everything melt a lot faster.
All right, this is the ridge everybody talks about. So I'm gonna be very careful since I have the dog. I wanna make sure our safety is number one. So a little bit less filming here, but I'll show you B-roll as much as I can of the actual ridge. Just did some recon with the drone and I truly am not sure where the real summit of North Star Peak Mountain is. So we're gonna call it a day here because you know what? I don't give a flying F about another summit. Today was about getting out, being outside, creating some content for you all. According to 14ers, I need to go another mile on the ridge, but according to every map that I'm able to look at, North Star Peak is back where I just showed you. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out and provide some clarity. Uh, the point of today, as I said, is to get outside, enjoy the day with Aria, and I don't want to keep pushing it for the sake of a summit that I don't give a flying shit about. So we're going to head back and um, enjoy the rest of the day here, but hopefully uh, you all enjoyed the views that I was able to capture before we uh, turned around because it is quite pretty up here with all the snow. Here's the deal, I was able to do some quick research. The true summit is right behind me here, according to surveys. In 2016, they actually redid the survey and it's even farther east, so probably right around here somewhere. For whatever reason, there's a bunch of websites that tell you that you have to hike this whole ridge to get to the summit, which is a bit confusing to me. All of that's to say, who actually decides where the summit is? When the internet tells you one thing and the government is telling you something else. So did I really summit a North Star Peak? Probably not, according to some, and maybe yes, according to those who follow topographical maps. Really kind of a confusing thing. I've never run into something like this before, uh, but in either case, it was a fun day up here. We're gonna head down and uh, my stats kind of don't matter. I'm gonna have about six miles and 3,500 feet of gain, but if you go over to where people are telling you the real summit is, you'll add about another mile and some more ridge exposure, similar to what I was showing you. Uh, but again, today is about Ari and I bonding and having some good time in the mountains and not necessarily summiting, even though I guess I technically did, who knows. And by the way, this is absolutely no disrespect to the people who run 14ers. Bill, what he does for uh, really the mountains here in Colorado in general is absolutely phenomenal. So no shots fired, just gen like genuine confusion of, you know, whose summit are you taking? A very well established and trusted website or the official survey? I guess you have to decide for yourself. Pretty much back at the trailhead now. This is gonna wrap up my video of North Star Mountain. Hopefully even with the controversy, you found this video helpful and you can decide for yourself how you wanna to decide to check this one off if that's important to you. As always, for a full trail guide on North Star Mountain, check my website. It'll have the GPX file in addition to so much more for tackling this hike. To help support the channel, you can shop these sweet hats as well as other virtual Sherpa gear or donate. And I also have a Patreon, which gives you a variety of different benefits there as well. On behalf of Aria and myself, Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all on the next adventure. All right, so here's our line up North Star Mountain. As you can see over here, this is where the official survey is. What I come to find out is that this point right here, zoom in a sec, is, I guess, the highest point of the ridge. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of distance between where people consider the summit of North Star Mountain and where the survey marker is. I've seen this in other uh, scenarios, but never this great of a distance. So yeah, just not really sure why uh, that is the case.